I know you guys are tired of hearing about Nintendo Directs before we get one, right? We all expect one to be dropping in February, and the last sign we got came from Nintendo themselves with updates to the eShop listings for Tears of the Kingdom and Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, and those updates ended up basically telling us that, hey, there's something coming extremely soon to open up these digital pre-orders. But we have more evidence added today to the fact that we are essentially getting a Nintendo Direct imminently. Now, before I get into it, I do want to remind you of this video's sponsor, E-Win Racing. When it comes to buying a gaming office chair, don't just trust anyone. Trust E-Win Racing, who has a chair just the right size for you. Trust me, one size doesn't fit all. <laughs> can relate to this guy right there. That's why Ewin Racing offers five different size chairs so you can get the exact fit to your height and weight. Don't settle for your local pickup, it's free, or Facebook Marketplace lightly used chairs. Well, thanks to discount code Nintendo Prime, you can take a chair from Ewin Racing that's over $200 and get it for just $183. Whoa! Is that still a bit steep for your wallet today? Well, thanks to Klarna and Afterpay, you can split your payment for your chair into four payments over four months, completely interest-free, no credit check required. That way, you can get your much-needed chair today. So what are you waiting for? Get your chair to complete your gaming setup right now. Just be sure to use code Nintendo Prime at checkout to get your 20% off. Link will be in the description or the additional text attached to this video. So what are we talking about today? Well. According to Walmart, and not just Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon Canada, and EB Games, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp has now been relisted on their websites, and you can put in orders. So the collection was originally planned to be released on the Nintendo Switch Family Systems uh, in April of last year, then it was delayed and delayed again, and put on an indefinite delay. The bottom line is there was a real world reason for it. And I know some people think it's a little bit of a cop out because other war games have come up, but in Advance Wars 1 especially, there's specifically a made up nation that is almost, it's Russia. Let's just put it that way. And it's Russia invading another neighboring country. So there was a, a sort of direct connection there, as loose as we want to say video game connections can be. Whatever, the war was also fresh at the time on people's minds and getting a lot more coverage than it does now. The war is still ongoing, by the way. It never ended, but obviously the way news cycles goes, it's not as clicky, right? People aren't as interested in watching constant updates on a seemingly never-ending war at this point, or at least one that doesn't seem to have a conclusion coming anytime soon. It's really sad that we're in this state where this is happening, but... Wars are not anything new. There's wars being fought all the time, whether the news covers them or not. So it, this is just one of those situations that led to Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp hitting this indefinite delay. But now that it's not only got an update on the eShop suggesting, it's not listed yet, but suggesting they will be taking pre-order soon, and now that retailers are starting to open up their sales for this game, it's very obvious that a Nintendo Direct is literally imminent. It is going to happen any day now obviously with what's happened with these updates to the game some people are now starting to expect this week right we get to february 1st that could be a direct february 2nd maybe it will be the following week because nintendo is going to wait until the first full week or at least wait until they do their investors meeting on the 7th some people have suggested with the investors meeting on the 7th nintendo could do a direct on the 8th or 9th obviously we also have to consider that maybe it'll happen a week before kirby you know the 14th 15th or 16th those are sort of the dates all being floated out there of when we can expect a direct. I know that's crazy. That's like a three week window. But what is true, at least, is this kind of stuff happening is direct evidence of an incoming direct. Because remember, the digital listing isn't there for Tears of the Kingdom yet. And that was updated on the eShop as well. So while this video is focusing on the update to Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, taking pre orders at stores, you can already pre order Tears of the Kingdom at stores. In fact, you've been able to pre order for years. Not special editions or anything because those aren't announced yet. It's obviously nice to see that Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp is getting its time to shine and going to be available probably within the next month or two. If I had to guess, I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo's going to launch this in March and sort of pair this with 
Bayonetta as a couple March games. Maybe they end up waiting till April because right now they have no exclusive available in April. So maybe it'll be an April game. Whatever, however Nintendo wants to space it out as we get on our road to Tears of the Kingdom on May 12th. So you, naturally there's going to be a direct. It's happening. We know it's happening. It happened literally every February the last four years. And it, they've had one early in the year pretty much the last decade. So what can we expect? What can we want? Well, earlier in a video like this, we talked about the top 10 things we want, the top 10 things we wish, like our wish list of 10 games that we want to see in this direct. And we all came up with some pretty crazy stuff, right? Stuff that's pretty unrealistic. I think I had three different Zelda game announcements in mind. That's, I mean, come on, we all know that's not going to happen. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to put together a list of five things you don't wish for, but expect. What five things do you expect to be in this direct? Let's keep these two realistic expectations. As an example, I'll give you five off the bat. Try to come up with five of your own. Tears of the Kingdom, blowout trailer, okay? Maybe that, that I'm just going to leave it at that because everything after that is speculation and wants and desires. So Tears of the Kingdom trailer, Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 reboot camp trailer and release date, okay? I expect those two things. Uh, let's go with Splatoon 3 DLC announcement. Let's go with Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC announcements, right? We already know what, a little bit of it, but we're going to get some more. And then I'm going to go with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC announcement and date for the next wave. So those are the things that I expect. I think they're very realistic. Now the question is, what do you expect beyond those five things? Let me know down in the comments below. I do want to thank everyone for being here and choosing to get your news and conversations around Nintendo right here at Nintendo Prime. We are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. We just crossed 85,000. It's absolutely insane. I really appreciate all the support heading into 2023 here as we actually have one of our best viewer months of all time in a January. This is insane. We, we don't usually do well in Januaries, and here we are starting out with a better month than pretty much any month we had last year. That is insane. So let's keep this momentum going on our road to 100,000 and beyond. Uh, you guys are epic and amazing and awesome. And who knows? Maybe you might catch me playing a little bit of Zelda on a live stream later today. Catch you guys in the next video.